The measles outbreak is growing. The Centers for Disease Control confirms 704 cases so far. The closest confirmed cases to our state are Tennessee and Georgia. About 37% of all cases involve children four years old and younger. You have a First Amendment right to practice your own religion, but you do not have the right to endanger your children or worse, other people's children. The CDC says even if you've already had your measles booster, you might not be protected from the deadly virus. CBS 17's Kelly Kennedy is digging deeper into exactly who is at risk. Measles vaccines are not just for kids. The CDC says some adults may need to get vaccinated too. Measles is one of the most contagious diseases on earth. Dr. Graham Snyder is an emergency physician at Wake Med. Snyder tells me before vaccines existed, when there was a measles outbreak, about two to three million people would die every year worldwide. Snyder says last year, 110,000 people died from measles. Which is a great improvement, um, but unfortunately, um, certainly not to zero. And even if you've already had your measles booster, you might need another one. The CDC says if you received a measles vaccine prior to 1968, you probably need to be revaccinated. When it's just a few people, it doesn't have a big impact. But when the numbers get higher and higher and higher, then eventually you're playing with fire. Dr. Snyder believes there are two reasons U.S. measles cases have climbed so high in recent years. One, more people are traveling, and two, more parents are turning against vaccines. Skipping a vaccination is like running through a stop sign. Most of the time, you'll get away with it. You'll be safe most of the time, but eventually you'll get unlucky. Snyder says if you aren't sure if you've had the vaccine, it won't hurt to get revaccinated. There have been no reported cases of measles in North Carolina this year, but 22 states have been affected. In Raleigh, Kelly Kennedy, CBS 17 News.